So with the upcoming Loki series coming out this Wednesday, I thought it would be fun to take a look at the top five Loki moments from the MCU. Real quick before we get into this video, I just want to give a disclaimer. This is my list and I did not pick emotional moments, but moments that really, well, I did pick one emotional moment, but mostly that made me love the character. Moments that I've laughed hard and moments that only really Tom Hiddleston could deliver. And that is what I'm going to be doing here today. I'm not going to be ranking them. I'm just going to be giving you five random Loki moments. They're not going to be ranked. Um, also do hit the subscribe button to help my channel grow. Also follow me on Twitter at ReviewsCM and, uh, we, there will be a watch along for the first episode of Loki on Wednesday. I don't know what time yet, but be on the lookout for that. Um, the Mighty Ducks, uh, watch along was really fun, but I've talked too much about this, this stuff and let's talk about Loki. Not be bullied by that. So one of my favorite moments um, from, you know, just Loki is from my favorite movie of all time, The Avengers, and that is when Hulk beats up Loki and says, puny God. That is, in my opinion, hilarious because Loki is giving him this big monologue and all this stuff about how he is so great and the Hulk is stupid. And then, of course, the Hulk just beats the the crap out of Loki and to me that is just hilarious and that is definitely a funny Loki moment. Oh, this is much better. Whoa, costumes a bit much. So tight, but the confidence. I can feel the righteousness surging. Hey, want to have a rousing discussion about truth, honor, patriotism? God. Now, Captain um, Loki um, and Captain America have never really had a conversation, but Loki was. Captain America at one point in Thor The Dark World. Um, I should have just included the whole scene. Actually, no, the whole scene of him just transforming into the different um, Asgardians. And then he makes Thor into Sif. I think that is really clever. I'm glad that Chris Evans, you know, kind of makes fun of himself. Uh, I mean, he comes in and kind of to do a mocking of his character. Um, and Loki... Is just hilarious in this scene. And Thor, this is probably my favorite scene out of Thor The Dark World. Um, because overall the movie's just meh. And uh, this this part really, you know, really just kind of hits it home for me. I have been falling for 30 minutes. So I've been falling for 30 minutes is from Thor Ragnarok. A movie with so many funny moments. But one of my favorite characters in that movie is Loki. Because he is... His comedic timing is so great. He's so clever. He has so many different moments. There's two moments on here that are from Loki that I included, but I thought I would put, um, I've been following for 30 minutes right here. Um, so they, Thor and Loki go to Doctor Strange to see where Odin is. And um, yeah, so Doctor Strange kind of keeps him in this loop of him falling. And uh, when Dr. Strange finally lets him go, he just screams, I've been falling for 30 minutes with the sense of humor of Tom Hiddleston. I mean, the humor delivery, it's, the comedic timing is just all great. That's how it feels! <laughs> I'm just a huge fan of the sport. Another moment from Thor Ragnarok that I thought I would include on here is I just really love the sport. This is the part in it where Hulk beats the crap out of Thor and throws him around like a doll like he did to Loki in the Avengers. And Loki just gets all excited in front of the Grandmaster and then he just gives the a really funny reply of, I just am really into the sport. Now to me that is great writing. Um, I think Taika Waititi's direction is the, one of, definitely one of the reasons why um you know that works so well and you know again i've been praising tom Wilson a lot but i cannot wait to see him in the series <laughs> the 
But my favorite Loki moment, um, I know I said I didn't rank him, but this is probably my favorite, is when Loki tries um, to be a hero. Now, this is his death in Infinity War, which I know a lot of people are saying he should have just died for good and Endgame kind of cheapened that. He's been dying a lot, so I mean, just, you know, it is what it is. But this scene, he's trying to outwit and kind of beat Thanos um, by being smarter than him, which if you've seen Infinity War, you know that that's not how it ends, and it ends with Thanos crushing him. And I just think that this scene works so well because it it is kind of a full arc of Loki. He starts off in Thor as kind of, you know, a bad guy. And in the Avengers, he's a bad guy. In Thor The Dark World, he gets a little better. But then Thor Ragnarok really shows his character progressing and actually becoming the hero and not just being the villain. And I think this was the perfect ending to that version of Loki. Now, I, I the other Loki is the 2012 Loki that we're going to be getting in um, Loki, the series. Um, I'm saying just Loki a lot, but there you have it. There is my top five Loki moments. Share yours down below. Did you like my list? Again, this is just my list. Nobody's list is going to be the same. Remember, hit the subscribe button and may the force be with you.